What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. So a couple of things that I wanted to note before we get into it. This is what I eat in a day on a rest day, which kind of differs from what I eat on a regular training day by a little bit just because my appetite is a little bit bigger when I don't train for some reason. Secondly, uh, this is the week before I start my period, so my appetite is like through the roof when that week before I start. I might be eating and consuming just a little bit more than I would originally, but definitely still the same type of meals that I would eat. Um, in a normal day anyways. Everything shown in this video will be plant-based. I am plant-based. I don't consider myself full vegan just because I have like chicken every now and then or some eggs. I wouldn't call myself a vegan per se, but everything that you're gonna be seeing is plant-based meals. And lastly, just, to, just a disclaimer to throw it out there, my meals are a little bit untraditional. Some might even call it a little bit unorthodox. I just be coming up with some creations and it works for me, may not work for you, uh, but I'm a pretty lazy cooker, so the easier to cook and the less time that it takes to cook, the better for me. All right, so that's it for the intro. Let's get into it. For breakfast, I'll usually start off the morning with a cup of coffee, but sometimes on a rest day, I don't feel the need to have that extra caffeine kick. So on this day, I decided to have waffles. I love to add almond butter and monk fruit syrup on my waffles. Uh, these are the Vans gluten-free waffles. That day I would try to kill two birds with one stone by prepping my snacks for work and my lunch while I'm making my second meal of the day. So here I am cutting up some watermelon which is my favorite. If you're a fan of tahini on your fruit then you'll love this chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's. You've got to try it. So then I pack it up into another container and I put it away for work. For my second meal, I'm having this chickpea pasta salad. So this is my go-to meal, honestly. I can have this every day and just make different versions of it. So I start off with some arugula as my base, and then I add about a cup of the pasta. I add a bunch of seasonings and sauces, but this is all necessary to making the pasta salad really taste good. The Thai dressing from Sprouts has been a recent fave of mine. If you're into like that creamy, zesty flavor, then you'll love this pasta combo. It ain't nothing too special. Drunk to the bone when I met you. I don't go fuck with the next dude. I don't really see no issues with it. Just one of those nights when you want my back. I don't want no love, you can have that back. Of course, I have to follow up my meals with something sweet, so I have this mint chocolate chip ice cream bar from Enlightenment. A few hours after my lunch, I'll have a small pre-work meal. This day has just arugula, rice, quinoa, and this veggie mix with a little bit of balsamic dressing. Then I already had my work lunch meal prepped, but this is just what I had in it. I basically just throw in a bunch of frozen veggies with some more of that Thai dressing. To accompany that, I'm having a protein shake to drink on my commute, on my way to work. I don't make protein shakes very often these days like I used to, but when I want to or when I'm in the mood or when I just want to make sure I have that extra protein intake, I'll take one.
When I get home from working all those hours, I'm usually pretty hungry. So I made about a fourth of some Daya pizza. And then as my dessert, I made a bowl of Rice Krispie cereal. It was like a Easter edition, which is why it has those weird colors in it, but still really good. And that's all for this full day of eating. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.